my name is Kieran McGuigan. I'm a third, fourth year software engineering student. I'm, I'm currently on internship, so I've completed three years. I'm not quite started my fourth year, so call it three and a half, I don't know. Uh, and I'm a student at the University of Calgary. So I chose the University of Calgary because I am a born and raised Calgary boy. Uh, I've always lived in the city. I, uh, as much as the winters suck, I, I do love it here. So, you know, I didn't I didn't want to go too far from home. And I think, you know, it's hard to beat a home-cooked meal on the table every night. And, you know, having do your laundry here, it, everything's pretty easy staying at home. So that was kind of the decision there. And the reason I chose software engineering specifically was we actually had a general first year where uh, we got the opportunity to try out different streams of engineering. And... Coding was the one I liked the best. Uh, I actually went in thinking I was going to be a civil engineer, took the statics course, and realized I was not going to be a civil engineer because I did not enjoy that at all. Like, oh my god. Did not have a ton of fun. It was not my thing personally. But I did enjoy the coding. Uh, I'd done some coding in high school before that. And I realized, you know, this is what I'd like to do and this is kind of what I want to do for the rest of my life. So the teaching styles in this program, I would say are honestly pretty good. We don't have a ton of professors, but all the professors we do have are very, I guess I would say professional, but also not just the stereotypical professor that'll walk in, do the bare minimum and walk out. Uh, all the university professors, especially for software engineering, uh, I found will always go that extra mile and really try and put in the extra work to help their students out. And just from like, the atmosphere that it kind of produces it really does seem like they care about all their students so uh, the teaching style you can expect is very hands-on in a way as well as with some theory in class so what I mean by that is in the classroom setting we'll, they'll go over a lot of theory uh, applications of things how things work different algorithms potentially depending on the class uh, and then in the lab you'll have a very practical hands-on experience of you're gonna be building this code uh, you have to solve this problem, you have to do this. And in a less practical, but still kind of hands-on approach, you'll also typically have an assignment for every course as well. Uh, assignments, which will be just kind of knowledge checks in a way. Uh, and I would say that's a bridge in between the theoretical and the hands-on kind of approach to learning. So that's very nice. You get kind of all three. So once again, that's just like a the more theoretical based lecture, a very hands-on lab and a kind of in the middle of assignments and kind of tutorials wrapped into that. Hey, what kind of skill sets are important for this degree? I would say critical thinking, but to be honest, a lot of what coding teaches is a new way of approaching problems and breaking it down in a different way in a more computer-based method. Uh, so that is something that, while not necessarily important to go into with, is something you'll kind of pick up along the way. And that's the very big skill is it's a new way of approaching problems in a very step-by-step -step but computational way. The types of jobs you can get into coming out of software engineering are, well, software engineering jobs, but as general as that is, it kind of is one of those fields, especially right now, where it is what you make it. So depending on the skills you pick up, a lot of the times the skills you pick up on the side, uh, that can really dictate where you go into. So a lot of in the degree, you will learn skills, but because it's such a very, it's such a broad field and it's always changing, you learn principles more than anything and kind of how you would apply certain best coding practices. Uh, on the side, you could learn stuff like web development. You can get into things like machine learning. You can get into things like app development. You can get into things like simple business solution development. I, You can code whatever you want, right? So I think coming out, uh, there's a very broad spectrum of jobs available to you, whether that's the IT field. A lot of times you can go into more of the development side of things. Uh, IT would be more maintaining stuff, uh, just from my sense. Uh, and then I guess you could kind of go into another stream I've heard about is there's a lot of people who go into the financial world as well. So going in and trying to predict stuff like uh, events and occurrences and similar to that where finance is predicting patterns or finding patterns in data, you'd be doing that for a lot of different companies with a lot of different applications. Um, and speaking to the co-op thing, uh, another opportunity throughout your degree is you can go on a co-op. Uh, that is what I'm doing right now. 
Uh, I work for Husky Energy, uh, and it's a it's a good time. I really enjoy it. I think co-op uh, provides some good experience. I really recommend it for the experience factor. But in all seriousness, no, I I do really enjoy it, and I think the ability to really work in the in a real environment before you graduate is kind of invaluable. It makes it a lot easier once you graduate. You get a better idea. You know what you want. Uh, for the most part, you don't necessarily need to, but I think it's an amazing opportunity, and I don't think it's anything anyone should pass up. And I think the University of Calgary has a has a pretty good internship program. Uh, it seems like their placement rates are fairly decent. So, if you end up doing this program, I would recommend going on a co-op or an internship of sorts and getting some work experience. Well, so for software engineering, the problem is you kind of just get the courses you get what you get and you don't get upset uh the engineering degrees at the university of calgary there's some room for choosing some electives but really you're told what classes you have to take uh and i would say from that sense out of your choices i believe you choose two normal electives and like four technical electives in fourth year so I would say pick what interests you. Uh, so for the two electives, just whatever you find interesting. I took Greek Roman studies and e economics, intro to economics. So just kind of things I thought would be interesting and I ended up enjoying them, not a bad deal. For the technical electives, just kind of pick what you think is cool. Uh, I believe there's some courses on machine learning. I think there's some courses on data science. I would recommend structuring it to maybe what you think you want to do but again that's not something you need to decide till you're in like fourth year so uh, not a big deal there obviously the best example is look at the content and look at what you're learning and find enjoyment in it and if you can find enjoyment in what you're learning it makes studying a lot easier because you actually enjoy what you're the information you're taking in and you can think of it more as a, hey, I'd learn this anyway. I'd learn it on the side. I just have to pay a little more money to take this course where I'd also learn something I am curious to know about. So I think that uh, the best study tip I could give uh, for this program is to set your perspective. So really just enjoy the content you're learning, find the importance of it, and because it all is very important and very applicable. I'm gonna go a little off script for this one though. So I would say the University of Calgary is not normally known for a big out of academics university. It's kind of, it's, I guess what you call a commuter campus. So most people kind of commute there, they go there, they leave. I think that's a real shame. My personal opinion on it is that I think, you know, these are some of the best years of your life. I think you should get out as much as you can and as much as you can possibly do in the four or five years that you're here and you're going through school. I think it's very important. I think those life experiences are something that you can't really get everywhere else. And I think you should really go for it. Uh, so me personally, I am not a member of any club, but I am a member of one of the fraternities on campus. Uh, I think that was a really good opportunity. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun with it, but that was my way of kind of finding a club where I could get out and still find people that were engaged and want in we and doing a lot of stuff on campus so it's my decision but i would recommend going through clubs or just things that interest you or basically anything that you know revolves around potentially an interest of yours because it's not only a good way to you know prompt that interest or do stuff that you like but it's also a good way to meet other people with similar mindsets oh how do i suggest making friends i mean like i would say as you sit down in class some people find it awkward. What I kind of did in first year was I'd just say hi to the person next to me. And there were a couple of moments where I maybe did get some very lively responses. Some more shyer people. Totally fine. But I think, you know, everyone's in the same boat, especially in first year university. Like, everyone's very nervous. No one really knows a ton of people there. And I found people really appreciate it if you just reach out and say, hey, how's it going? My name's Kieran and, um, how are you? Or just stuff like, oh my god, like I'd, I'd lean over and be like, oh my god, like I have no idea what's going on on the board. <laughs> I'm very confused. And you know, you get a lot of the time, a lot of people, not even just the person beside you, but a lot of people will lean in and be like, yeah, I got no clue at all either. And you know, it's a very bonding moment, but you know, just being, I guess, vulnerable in a sense with people around you and kind of just talk, starting a conversation in any way you can can really make a big difference and you can make some great friends that way.
I would say that is maybe one criticism I have heard about the university is potentially the the mental health and the, the student kind of outreach programs might be lacking in there. You know, either whether it be funding or just their effectiveness or their approach. And they, I think they try their best, but with uh, just the situation they're in, yeah. I think that is potentially one resource that might be lacking at the university. Royal glasses. Gotta make this dramatic. Honestly, I don't know if that was dramatic. Honestly, I would say that um, the best advice I could give is just kind of do it. Just get through it. It's not really the end of the world, anything that happens. Things aren't always going to go your way. But just keep going. Uh, and I would say the other piece of advice is make sure you always enjoy every moment. Make friends. This is a great opportunity. As much as you're here for school, you're also not there just to learn and to get a piece of paper. You want to get more out of your experience there. You want your university experience to broaden your, your perspectives. You want to see more things. You want to meet new people. You want to hear their perspectives. It, it, makes, it, it makes the whole time there a lot more rewarding.